Welcome to Japan, a country where timeless temples meet futuristic skylines. Over the next 15 days we'll explore the best of Japan, from the bustle of Tokyo to the serene landscapes of Kyoto and beyond. I've got insider tips for you that go beyond any guidebook, so let's jump in. Days 1-3, Tokyo. Day 1 begins in Tokyo with the famous Shibuya crossing. Here's a tip. For the best view of the crossing, head to the Starbucks overlooking it. Arrive early for a window seat, perfect for people watching while you sip on a matcha latte. Nearby, Harajuku is known for wild fashion, but don't miss Takeshita Street, especially Daiso Harajuku, where you'll find fun souvenirs for just 100 yen. Want a break from the crowds? Take a quick detour to the Owl Cafe in Harajuku, where you can unwind with owls or, for something less mainstream, the Roppongi Art Triangle in Roppongi for unique exhibits. On day two, we'll visit Tokyo's oldest temple, Sensoji, in Asakusa. Near Sensoji, there's a hidden gem called Denboin Street, a quieter area with old-fashioned shops and less crowded photography spots. And if you're up for a unique snack, try the melon bread from Kagetsudo, soft, sweet, and an Asakusa specialty. If you're into anime, Akihabara's Super Potato is a retro arcade with games from the 80s and 90s that you won't find anywhere else. For a Tokyo Skytree hack, get an evening ticket around sunset for both daytime and nighttime views. Day 3 takes us to Ueno Park, a great spot for cherry blossoms in spring. If you're here in summer, try Yakitori at the food stalls near Ueno Zoo. It's a local favorite. In the evening, Roppongi Hills offers incredible night views of Tokyo Tower and a hidden spot at Tokyo City View. Days 4 to 5, Hakone and Mount Fuji views. On day 4, we're off to Hakone, famous for onsen and Mount Fuji views. Here's a tip. Get the Hakone free pass to access buses, trains, the cable car, and even the Lake Ashi pirate ship, which is worth it for the views alone. If you're hungry, try black eggs boiled in Awakudani's hot springs. They're said to add 7 years to your life. Stay in a ryokan that offers a private outdoor bath, onsen, for an unforgettable view of Mount Fuji from your room. Many ryokans offer traditional meals called kaiseki, a multi-course Japanese dinner, which is a unique experience. Spend your morning in Hakone, and here's a little known tip. If you want a quieter experience, head to Hakone Shrine early in the morning before tour buses arrive. Later, take the bullet train to Kyoto, where you'll arrive in style. Day 6-8, Kyoto, historic and cultural hub. Day 6 in Kyoto begins at Fushimi Inari Shrine. Most people stop halfway, but if you can handle a short hike to the top, you'll find amazing quiet views. Next up is Kiyomizudera. Don't forget to try the Ottawa Waterfall, where each of the three streams represents either love, success, or longevity. For an authentic tea experience, the Jin District is a must. Many tea houses here offer matcha ceremonies, but for a quieter experience, try the Yasaka Pagoda area around sunset. It's picture perfect and often overlooked. On day 7 we're heading to Arashiyama for the Bamboo Grove. A tip, visit early morning or late afternoon to avoid the crowds. Nearby, Kinkakuji, the Golden Pavilion, is mesmerizing. Bring a wide-angle lens for your camera to capture the entire reflection in the pond. Want to add something special? Try a kimono rental for the day to stroll through Arashiyama in traditional Japanese attire. And don't miss Tenryuji Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site with stunning Zen gardens. Nijo Castle with its nightingale floors was designed to squeak to protect against intruders. It's an audio experience you won't forget. In the evening, head to Pontocho, an atmospheric alley along the river, where you'll find everything from casual dining to gourmet kaiseki cuisine. Day 9, Nara Day Trip. Nara is only a 45-minute train ride from Kyoto. Start with Tadaiji Temple and its massive Buddha statue. Don't miss the pillar with a hole the size of the Buddha's nostril. Legend says if you can squeeze through, you'll be blessed with enlightenment. Then head to Kasuga Taisha Shrine and Nara Park. The deer in Nara Park will bow to you if you bow first. Feed them deer crackers, Shika Senbei, sold by vendors. They're cute but can be cheeky. Hold the crackers high if you want to control the experience. Days 10-11, Hiroshima and Miyajima Island. Hiroshima's Peace Memorial Park is a profound experience. A little-known gem here is the Honkawa Elementary School Peace Museum nearby, which preserves artifacts from students and is a touching, quiet spot to reflect. On day 11, visit Miyajima Island and Itsukushima Shrine. Here's a tip. The shrine's Tori Gate appears to float only during high tide, so check tide schedules. Hike Mount Misen if you're up for it. It offers panoramic views over the Sato Inland Sea. Days 12-13, Osaka. Modern meets traditional. Day 12 takes us to Osaka Castle. A tip. 
check the event schedule for the surrounding park. There are often festivals and events here. In Dotenbori, Osaka's street food haven, try takoyaki and okonomiyaki, Osaka's specialty savory pancakes. If you're a foodie, try a kapo restaurant in Osaka, where chefs prepare seasonal dishes in front of you. It's more intimate than sushi bars and perfect for a unique dining experience. Shinsaibashi is a shopping paradise, and for views, the Umida Sky Building has an open-air observatory with glass floors for a heart-pounding experience. It's less crowded than other observatories, so you can take in the views in peace. Day 14, Kobe or Himeji Day Trip. For Day 14, choose between Kobe and Himeji. In Kobe, head to the Kobe Nunabiki Herb Gardens for great city views, especially beautiful during flower season. Himeji Castle is stunning and a bonus tip. Try to visit in the afternoon when crowds thin out for sunset views. Day 15, return to Tokyo and departure. Back in Tokyo, a few final hours offer time for some last-minute sightseeing or shopping. Ginza's high-end shops and galleries are fun to explore, and Tokyo Tower offers one last look over the city. Japan has endless beauty, history, and charm. This itinerary is just the start of what you can discover. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. I hope these tips help you uncover Japan's hidden gems. Don't forget to check the description for more travel tips, and until next time, safe travels.